Hello, guys. In this lesson, we're going to talk about Facebook groups versus forums. Let's get started. Before social media platforms became popular, people who are using the internet engage in online community forums. They join in the discussions and read about the topics that they are interested in. They also share content that is relevant to people who want to learn about the content that they share. People enjoy being part of an online community to discuss a wide variety of topics and learn from each other. Online communities gather people together to talk about different topics of interest. Facebook has Facebook groups to gather people of the same interests. Only members of a private group can view the posts shared within the community. And only the members of the group can engage with the other members of the group as well. It also acts as an online forum between group members. It's a great place where people can help each other. Since people keep on engaging inside the group, the members can be connected and build a good relationship with each other. Facebook groups allows Facebook users to post content or engage with other people's posts using their Facebook profile. The members of the Facebook group will know that you are the one who posts the content and shared it with the group. When Facebook users comment on posts inside a group, the other members will know who comments on the posts since they can view anyone's Facebook profile. Forums allow you to post a topic or comment on posts anonymously. You can share your opinions without people knowing anything about you. On forums, you can register an account using any username that you like. Facebook groups may increase organic reach. If you have more members inside your Facebook group, you can share content and more people can read and view what your content is all about. Sharing promotions on Facebook groups can help your brand reach more people compared to forums. When you post content on forums, there's a limited number of people who can discover your post. They can only view your content if they browse to categories where your topic was posted. Once your content is newly posted on forums, your topic can be shown on the first page of the category. And there's a little possibility that people can click on the topic you shared and view your content. Facebook groups may have different content that the members may discover inside the group. People who are members of the group need to browse the group's feed to discover content and the latest shared posts can be seen on top of the group's feed. The discussions can be lost once the engagement from the members starts decreasing. The content may be buried down from the group's feed, while the content that continues to have more engagement may be seen on top of the feed. The more people comment in the discussion about the posted content, the more people can discover what the discussion is all about. As a result, the content will have more engagement. Forums can have more in-depth conversation when people start to engage and comment on the original topic that was posted. The engagement will keep on going as people reply to the post or with the comments of the other members who are sharing their opinion about the topic. It can be easier to search for information about certain topics inside a forum. Also, the topics that people share inside a forum are required to be posted in the right category. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go to technicforce.com for more tools and training.